What's going on YouTubers? Shane Outlaw here. Guess what? Mystery tackle box time. Holy moly, got my nine line shirt on. I stretched out my collar. That freaking sucks. Anyways, uh, hadn't even opened it, hadn't even peeked inside. So I'm pretty stoked about this. Uh, you know, it's 2020, October, 16, 17, 18, 18th, I think. It's like 72, 73 degrees. The mosquitoes are horrible right now. Let me turn on some light here. I think we need, we need just a little bit more light. So, middle of October, 70 degrees, 72. Uh, crazy you know it should be fall I mean the leaves are finally starting to come off the trees but it's still not fall all right so let's let's take a look what's inside mystery tackle box and I wonder if that Sun's gonna give us a problem with lighting bench made this is an old-school bench made I've had you can actually see how many times I've sharpened it. The blade is actually getting a tad smaller. But look, look at that color. This was a, uh, I think this is a Mel Pardue. It, yep. 154CM. This is a cool little knife right here. Had it forever. Uh, you know, you spend 150 to 300 dollars on a pocket knife you use it you use it right they're not collector items the reason why they're 150 to 300 and 400 dollars is because they're high quality they're gonna last you a long long time you can actually see where the finish has has started wearing for me keeping it in my pocket you know i'm still i'm still using several different pocket knives but I really dig this one, as you can tell, just from the wear. So if I lay it down right there, I'm gonna walk off. Gotta put it back in your pocket. Unbelievable. Sorry, got distracted. All right, so let's let's check in to the mystery tackle box. Still got the little Instagram game going with the ruler. First thing out of the box is a nice little weedless football jig dang that's pretty freaking cool Guggen squad I'm, i really like those colors that's pretty cool i wonder if i can pop that out of the is it get the freaking pocket knife back out let's see what we can do here because I'm, I'm really digging that color right now let's see what we can get out of here because those colors are popping. I think they did really well with that. And then we'll tear it up, freaking child proof. So it's got a football head on it. Look at, look at those colors, holy moly. You know, what I like about, what I like about this brand is that hole where there your line goes in is a tad larger than I think most. Look at that hook perfect weedless jig right there's multiple colors in there if you can see them i'm telling you that right there and i love working with jigs right i dig it look at that color man dang dang that's cool that is a freaking amazing amazing color combination right there so that is a. Uh, Let's see, how much is that one? Three eighths ounce. It's a pretty nice little jig. Other cool thing about it is what's inside. What's inside, All right? Tells you where to follow them. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. So, and of course, it's always got the, the dibble tricks and tips tips and tricks 
uh, five soft plastics guaranteed to catch bass. Next up, next up, oh, got us a little shallow diver crankbait. Let's take that cellophane off there. So, this is a Jinko uh, shallow dive crankbait. Look at that bad boy. I don't do a lot of crankbaits, divers, you know, because I do a lot of pond and river fishing. Um, you know, banks, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm a cheapskate. I don't have a boat. All my buddies quit inviting me to go fishing on their boats because I caught more than they did. So they quit, they quit inviting me, right? So um, pretty cool little diving crankbait right there. That's a bad dude. It's in the box upside down, three-fourths of an ounce. Um, you know, they always send hooks, right? They always send some nice rigging hooks. Um, I'm a fan of the Eagle Claws. They've been around forever. These things, the, the, the Eagle Claw Laser Sharp, hey, stay away from the Razor Sharp. They will hurt you. Bow. But make sure you watch what you're doing very carefully while rigging jigs. Because they're sharp. All right, up next is we've got some rubbers. Gotta love the rubbers, right? So got some gamblers go fish now i haven't heard of these but this is uh looks like it's a cricket or a craw yeah, it's a crawfish of some sort so they call it a bb cricket Let's see if you can see the colors better there you know that would actually go really well with that jig that i just threw down wherever it went oh there it is that color combination throw that on that deadly combination. People, a lot of people just work the jig. Throw a rubber on there, check it out. You gotta use your plastics, right? So throw a plastic on with your jig, give it a little bit more action. I'm telling you, be popping, be popping. Gambler, go fishy. Let's see, where are these guys? Made in the USA, that's nice. So, Made in Florida, so that's cool. I dig those colors. <clears throat> so we got some uh, some little swimmer shads. Last, if you remember the last video, we got a nice hook and, and some two swimmer shads. So this will give you a couple more to go. Bruiser baits, um, pretty nice colors. Unfreaking believable. Some some rude person called while I'm trying to film. I don't they know I'm trying to film a YouTube video here? I'm trying to like become famous. Bruiser, Bates, Swimming Shad. Those are some pretty cool colors in there. Green to white. Got some dark flake in it. I really dig these. See what they're, what are they calling this? A Slimmer Swimmer TP. Sexy Shad. So, Bruiser Baits. Doesn't say where they're made. Um, but, you can use those with the last set we got last month, right? So, really cool setup. That right there. That's gonna hook you some fish. Guaranteed, guaranteed fish hooking, right? You got more rubbers for your last set. Hey, that football head is badass, right? So, let's check out what else we got. Where to fish your jig, right? Where to fish your jig. Uh-oh, and of course, we got stickers. We got one sticker. What is that called? Jackpot Catches Company, right? And if you look, it's got three little fishes in a row right there. That's pretty cool. Might throw that on the Yeti since it's pink. My, my wife's Yeti is, is coral, but might throw that on hers because I don't think my bison will take pink sticker. I don't think it just doesn't do it. So anyways, 
Hey guys, for the money, this is Christmas every month. It really, really is. I mean, it, it's it's stupid fun to get one of these. Great, great wedding present. Uh, a friend of ours right now is she's expecting a baby. One of them just had a baby, so I was thinking about maybe getting them. Um, maybe a subscription or two for their babies, right? Start building that tackle box now. It's never too early to start fishing. Never too young. All right, guys. Shane Outlaw, thanks for subscribing. Sorry about the interruption. Um, whoever that was calling, I'm sure it was about my extended warranty on my car. Um, subscribe button below. It's been on the whole time videoing. Uh, hit the notification bell. Uh, check out Nine Line Apparel. Nine Line, they've got some great stuff going on. Look at that. I mean, great stuff. Uh, don't make any money off of Mystery Tackle Box, Nine Line Apparel. I got my Cowboys cap on, but we're in the middle of a pandemic. A lot of political crap going on right now. I've watched no, no professional sports this year. Um, so, Again, hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Y'all be safe. It is COVID season. Um, you'd think by now that COVID would be like 21 or 22 and not 19, but it's still COVID-19. So please be safe and God bless.